a UK mother of three, who is a British citizen but originally from Jamaica, is facing deportation from the United Kingdom as the Home Office have accused her of identity fraud. Like, guys, I always say this that you having a British passport, <laughs> in as much as you are not giving birth to in this country. Your parents are not originally from this country. You see the British passport you are holding is just a means of your identity in the country. It can be ripped off you at any given time. As this lady is a British citizen, she holds a British passport, but the Home Office have stated that she might be ripped off of her citizenship here in the United Kingdom. Now, according to her, she said she is traumatized with everything that is going on at the moment. She has submitted a birth certificate to the Home Office. The Home Office is yet to get back to her with a reply, but they are still standing on the ground that she might be deported from the United Kingdom because of identity theft. I will let you guys know exactly what is happening in this very video. But in the meantime, I'm going to apologize for some little noise that you might be hearing in the background, children are around. And before we go further in today's video, if you are meeting me for the first time, you are welcome to my channel. <laughs> my name is Joanne Ekeke and I'm based here in United Kingdom. To be precise, I'm based here in England. On this channel, what I do, I talk about things that affect Africans, things that affect Nigerians, Asians, Caribbeans, Blacks, that are based here in the United Kingdom and in the diaspora at large. So if you're interested in content like this, subscribe to my channel. And for my returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to support this platform. Sincerely from my heart, I appreciate you. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. And I will remind you again, if you are yet to like this video, please click on the like button of this video. It's going to help this video in a long way. Like it will help YouTube to recommend this video. If you cannot share it, click on the like button. It is very important to me, please. Sometimes I get 2,000 views and then I will see just 20 likes, 30 likes. It's not encouraging. Please click on the like button. With that being said, let's go straight into today's video. So according to Mrs. Brown, she's a mother of three who is based in Luton here in United Kingdom. She said she received a letter from the Home Office few weeks ago advising her that she might be ripped off her british citizenship because she allegedly got a british passport with false identity fake name according to them and fake date of birth that they only just discovered that they do not belong to her and miss brand mrs brand has argued that a date of birth and the name that she has are originally has. She even went further to submit a birth certificate, but the home office is yet to get back to her. They still stand on the ground that she used false identity, false name and false date of birth to acquire a British citizenship. What do I want to say here? Like I always tell us in my videos, like, if you don't even learn anything from the videos I bring or the stories I bring here, you will definitely learn one or two from other people's mistake. You don't want to make a mistake in this country and then people should learn from your mistake. It's better for you to learn from people's mistake. So according to her, she says she is so traumatized that if they throw her out of this country, it's going to be a false accusation on the part of the home office she said she has seen a lot of people wrongly accused and wrongly deported from the united kingdom that she doesn't want her own story to be part of those people that is why she's going to stand her ground to confirm and show to the home office that whatever document she used to identify uh, she used to acquire a british citizenship belongs to her and they are genuinely us one thing i want to say here again is that in as much as we are here, we have come to stay, we want to become British, whatever you do, I always tell people, there is no shortcut to anything here in the United Kingdom. Whatever you are doing, make sure you follow the straight path. 
if you follow the straight path from now to the middle to the end to, as in for a long run you're not going to face any problem nobody's going to knock on your door to say oh your passport you acquire your british passport or your citizenship with false identity nobody's going to say that but when you are looking for shortcuts you want to go shortcut let me pass this way they say if i go like this go like this i'm gonna get it fast at the end of the day you will still come back to nothing we need to be careful like we need to be careful i've seen people they will come to the country they've not stayed up to three years they will be asking you ah i beg how will i do it now i won't get my settlement fast fast so they say if i do it like this do it. Mm -mm. don't listen to people if they say you have to stay for five years before you get your indefinite leave to remain genuinely follow the straight path stay up to that five years legally and apply and get your indefinite if they say it's 10 years stay for that 10 years genuinely and acquire it so that tomorrow it will not be a story of i die no i'm just going to take a reading a little bit so that we understand where i'm coming from a woman who has been living in the uk for 22 years said she has been left traumatized after being told she could be deported. Amelka Brand, 41 from Luton, said she married for the second time in 2019, about two weeks after being naturalized as a British citizen and getting a British passport. Last month, she received a letter from the Home Office which said she had gained her citizenship using a false identity and as a result could be removed from the uk and sent back to a native jamaica in a statement the home office said it is our long-standing position that we do not comment on individual cases in a letter the home office accused amila brand of gaining a citizenship fraudulently mrs brand emailed the home office a birth certificate to confirm her name and the fact that she was born in 1982 as opposed to 1979, which the letter from the Home Office claimed. She also emailed her brother's birth certificate, which shows he was born in 1979, to prove they have a date of birth wrong, as they both could not have born within three months of the same mother. Mrs. Brown said she was upset when she received the letter from the Home Office in September. I'm not a fraudster, she said. As well, as well as seeking a letter from the Home Office, deforming she has proven her identity and is not a fraudster. She would also like an apology from the Home Office. I've never had any point on my license. I abide by the law and all goods. The good I have done has not paid off, she said. Mrs. Brown said she graduated in July from the University of Bedfordshire in accounting and finance and hoped to become fully shattered accountant. Guys, to be honest, this is a very pathetic story. I pray that the Home Office, you know, uprightly look into a case and then they see that she is not into identity theft and then they should reinstate her British citizenship because if they send her out of this country she has three children in this country she's going to be you know far away from her children her husband her family members that she has here in the United Kingdom well according to her she says she has seen a lot of people who have been deported wrongly so I pray that God will see her through. As for those people that are looking for a quick corner, you can see that all that glitters is not good. If I'll see you all in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.